What's up everyone, Arctic here, giving you part 2 of my commentary asking whether or not Gears of War 3 will be on the pro circuit next season. I get that question quite frequently, a lot more than uh, you would think, especially the last couple of months. <clears throat> Just a quick rehash on part 1, I uh, talked about some of the reasons that Gears of War 2 was removed from the circuit. Uh, I don't know all the reasons, but uh, some of the ones that I do know. Uh, one, obviously we were playing a different game from online to LAN. Um, the title updates really didn't affect LAN play, so uh, basically you were playing the game with ragdoll stuns, and online you were playing the game with smoke stuns. So uh, a little bit of practice discrepancies that hurt, obviously, the game uh, from a viewer standpoint because people didn't understand what was happening. You know, why there was ragdoll stuns and from a practice standpoint for players other thing obviously was host advantage I think that's always going to be a factor in years of war no matter what and uh, the last thing and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second here is that uh, stream numbers weren't very good and uh, obviously if the stream numbers aren't good even with all the other things I think they might have kept the game on the circuit had they been a lot higher so we got to get people watching Gears of War 3 next season. Now, answering the question, do I think uh, Gears of War 3 will be on the pro circuit? I want to take this from the standpoint of what I've seen so far from Sundance uh, and other people in the MLG community. Obviously, he seems like he's cautiously optimistic. I'm cautiously optimistic. Uh, right now, I think that Gears of War 3 won't be on the circuit in the way that we think. Um, if you want to compare it to a game like StarCraft or Halo or Call of Duty, I don't think it will be on in the same capacity that we see with those games. I think it will be uh, uh, possibly like Call of Duty was back in 2008 and 2009 where there's online qualifiers and the top teams get to go to... You know, maybe one or two events during the season, some type of invitational of sorts. I, you know, there's just a lot of question marks around that. Um, and from examining, like I said, what Sundance has said on Twitter, um, what was said on the Loser Bracket show, most recently VVV's Loser Bracket show, uh, I believe it was episode 69. You know, there's just some, some question marks that, you know, leave you kind of like eh, I don't know if it'll get picked up it's just I don't know it just doesn't make sense to me one of the things that Sundance said on Twitter was that uh, and he was actually talking to fallout from get Bronco was that he didn't feel like MLG could fund the game uh, on the circuit it would need to be funded by some other entity whether it be you know epic funding the game or uh, some type of advertiser, Old Spice, or Microsoft, or some something of that nature. If you think about Call of Duty, Sony is funding Call of Duty on the pro circuit for MLG. That makes sense. And there's not many teams. It's not very popular. Not as popular on the PlayStation as it is on 360. Uh, the gameplay isn't as smooth. So you know, I I just I think that now that that's happened with MLG. Um, actually like Sony stepping up to the plate and funding it that's what they want for a game like Gears of War I don't know if that'll happen you know I, it, it's hard to say and Epic has said and Cliffy has said he's very interested when MLG interviewed him at E3 he said he's interested he wants to see Gears of War 3 on the pro circuit they've said it you know it, it's just a lot of question mark people are like you know they don't know what to think um, another thing that Sundance kind of alluded to was that he was interested in helping um, the Gears fans and he had details about what um, you know plan of action they had so uh, you know there's some type of idea of what they want to do with Gears of War I just don't think it's going to be a title that'll be full blown on the pro circuit there will be involvement from MLG there will be something going on obviously you know they they're really interested in content for the game they have uh, Skyless and I are actually working on content for Gears of War on the MLG's website 
Um, we've written now four articles total. So there is um, that interest. That interest is there. It's there between Epic. It's there with MLG. It's just a matter of, you know, like Sundance said, will someone step up to the plate other than the circuit and fund the game? Um, and maybe, you know, maybe memberships, uh, MLG memberships or some other outside source will help contribute to uh, Gears of War having a bigger uh presence on the circuit not 100 percent sure last thing i want to mention before i go guys is that regardless of whether or not you believe it or not tuning into live streams for gears of war is going to be huge next season so in the event that you aren't going to an event you don't have a team you, you like some of the teams that are going you want to learn more about gears of war you guys got to tune in when whenever there's a live stream watch gearsup.net do the things that help the game get on the circuit you gotta watch the live stream even if you watch it one day it's better than not watching it at all find the schedules tune in help the game get on the circuit cautiously optimistic don't know what'll happen this is arctic out peace